The great Jonathan Swift once said that promises and pie crusts are made to be broken. Now, I have taken the time to go to various ID Academy websites, and you will not believe some of the things that you are being promised and told. So in this video, we are going to dive in deep into the shady things that ID Academies talk about and actually put out there to lure you in. And again, if you haven't caught this series, I invite you to go back and watch the first two videos. I will link both of them in the description below and I'll also link the first video questions you should ask before enrolling in ID Academy here. And then I will also dive in and share the tea from what happened after the first 24 hours that I dropped that video here. And if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe. Your support has been amazing. I am just really humbled by the great support that I've gotten overwhelmingly from the L&D community on this topic. I, I've just been overwhelmed because again, I'm just trying to do my part to help people and really help you all kind of navigate the waters. Okay. So again, just full disclosure, I grabbed these from public facing pages. I didn't go undercover. I didn't do anything shady to get that. These are public facing things that you can find on websites or social media. And I just want to share some of the stuff that I found. All right. First, let's talk about money. All right. Money is important. I'm sure we all know how important money is in our lives. So there is one academy that you go to their website and scroll through. And let me tell you all, I about broke my hand scrolling through this page. It was a page that never ended. I thought the little wheel on my mouse was going to fall off. And one thing that this academy promises you is that if you get inside of their program, again, up here in the marketing piece, it says, quote, you get paid work experience opportunities with Fortune 500 clients. Hot damn, sign me up. I can see why people would be interested in enrolling in this academy. However, hold the phone. If you scroll down a little bit more where they're talking about taking your hard earned money, it changes to say that there are possible opportunities and working with quote unquote their clients. So I believe what they call that is is that called bait and switch? Is that what that's called? I think that is what that's called, uh, bait and switch. Again, I'm no marketing expert, but again, if you get really excited, again, I feel like they're, they're playing on your emotions, ladies and gentlemen, right? They're, they're looping you in. They're getting you all excited. It's like, yes, this is the, the part for me. I'm investing all this money. I'm going to get money back out of it so I can learn and get paid at the same time. But then if you read the fine print, it says it's possible. Doesn't guarantee it, but up in the top, it says you get it. So what is it? What's the real skinny? I don't know, but I just think that you need to be a good steward. Take your time reading this stuff, okay? And if you see something like that on these websites, don't sign up. Ask the question, let them answer that question, okay? Or better yet, publicly ask that question so that person needs to answer it. They need, that needs to be verified because those are two different things. You get paid work experience versus it's possible, not the same thing, all right? So that is the first thing that is shady that I found on some academies' websites. All right, so the second one, and this could be from the same academy. It could be from a different one, right? But there's an academy that also has a frequently asked questions part, okay? And one of the questions that's frequently asked is around Articulate Storyline. Now, Articulate Storyline is an e-learning authoring tool. A lot of instructional designers use it. Um, actually, in some of the research that I have done pending publish, I swear one of these days it's going to get published in a journal. That's a whole nother story for another day. But predominantly, the job descriptions that I have analyzed, it is the number one tool that's mentioned in job descriptions, at least in the sample that that I studied. So it's a big deal. It's, I feel like a very important software package to master. 
So the question is, you know, Storyline's really expensive and I can't afford that in the program. So what, what do I do here? Remember, programs that cost thousands of dollars, okay? Thousands, okay? So I can't afford one or the other, please help me. This particular FAQ, all right, says, and I quote, that during the program of the academy, you can use the trial and after 60 days, Quote, you can get another one with another email address and it's no problem at all, unquote. No problem at all, huh? Well, I did some little digging over on the Articulate website and I actually took the time to read terms and conditions, yes. And interestingly enough, ladies and gentlemen, actually, it is a problem. And it's a problem because you are legally violating terms and conditions of Articulate software. Now, I can't think of a better way to start off your instructional design career by going to an academy, getting this horrible advice. I mean, again, technically it is illegal. Yep, I'm saying it. And God forbid you get found out by Articulate and you can't use their software. Now, again, if you're applying for jobs and you're going in there and Articulate already has your name on there as, hey, this person abused our software, that's not going to look good, is it? So my question is, if an academy is charging thousands of dollars for one student, why on earth can't they allocate some of that cash to cover the storyline part for that person? And when they get to that part of their esteemed program, that the academy will go ahead and put them like on an academy team license or help allocate that away for somebody to purchase an individual license. I don't understand that. And... I think that might be one of the shadiest things that I've seen from the academies because it's horrible advice. Now, I've heard this advice for years. I don't condone this advice. I don't think that it's ever a good look to violate terms and conditions. And it sure as heck is not a good look to violate terms and conditions when you're taking someone else's money away from them. Okay, so I just want to be really clear with that. If money is an object, and I understand it is as people are transitioning into different roles, right? Um, I did do a video about how to get Adobe Captivate for free. And if you haven't seen that, I'll link that in the description below. Or you can click the card in the upper right-hand corner and get that information that you can get. Again, no, no funny business, no strings attached. Adobe Captivate, just by participating in their forums, you can earn a free license. So just want to put that out there. Let me know in the comments below, were you surprised by any of that? Are there other things that you've heard or seen that has kind of given you pause? Or are there things that you think a lot of academies do right? Um, are there some things that really, again, you saw on a website that encourage you to, to dive in and, and purchase? I'd love to hear that as well. Again, I am on a mission to give people as much information as possible on this topic. So I'd love to hear the good, the bad, and the ugly. Again, thank you all so much for hanging with me. Uh, I hope that, again, this has been helpful and have a great day. Again, be good stewards of your own resources and until next time.